Well, happening later this week is the annual Victims' Rights March that's happening in downtown Bakersfield. And Andrea Kohler, Assistant District Attorney in Kern County, joins me now to talk more about that march and the community resource event that is happening. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Glad to be here. So let's talk a little <laughs> bit about this. this. is the 10th annual march that you guys have done. Talk a little bit about the significance of it and why the District Attorney's Office and other law enforcement agencies kind of pause, if you will, for a moment to honor and understand that there are a lot of victims out there that are on a regular basis needing help today. You know, we think that if we can get all of those victims together yeah. and really celebrate the fact that they're making it through, they have made it through most of the time, the criminal justice system and everything that goes with being a survivor. Mm -hmm. And this year it's particularly, I think, um, helpful that we're, we're out there because this year it's what can we do to help? What can you do to help as a community? Mm -hmm. What are the, the resources that are available? Providing resources, services, and hope for crime survivor victims. So the resource fair is the first resource fair we've had in connection with the Crime Victims March. Why, how did this come about? Obviously you've done the march for several years. What prompted this idea to like, you know what? We need to have, we need to have this resource available resource fair available? Well, just talking to victims and just talking to the community, yeah. members of the community, we realized that uh, we've made so many strides with the Family Justice Center in people knowing how to get resources, referrals, but there's always additional information mm -hmm. and resources available. By making them all available in one spot for people to come out, I think that um, it will help. It will help get the word out. As an assistant district attorney, what is it like for you to see dozens, if not hundreds of family members and, and survivors just come together and 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 it realize that like they're they're not necessarily alone because we talk about the different crimes that happen in our community mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And I think sometimes we just go from one crime to the next because that's just how it happens, right? But to see all of these families in one one place and, and talk about it, what is it like for you to, to see that? It's a very emotional day yeah. for all of us because we see we see such hope and we see how the community bolsters up these families mm -hmm. and these survivors. And that's why I really, really would urge just members of the community to come out because a lot of times people will say, well, what can I do to help? Oh, well, even if they haven't been impacted by- Absolutely, okay. absolutely. March with us, march with us, march with those crime victims and survivors and say, we're here with you, we're making a stand, we're letting you know that you matter okay. and your family members and matter. this march is happening on Thursday? Yes, tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wednesday, oh, yeah, it yeah. is Wednesday, yeah, it's happening tomorrow. <laughs> it's uh, happening tomorrow and it's between in the courtyard between 11.15 um, and 12.15, Truxton, and we'll have all of um, the homicide victim uh, posters displayed for family members, which is always something that is very um, impactful for them. If people can't make it out to the march tomorrow, because uh, it's you know happening in the afternoon, what can they do? They can always call the Kern County District Attorney's Office. We would love to have uh, volunteers at the Family Justice Center or with our Victim Services Unit. And um, as always, if you know something, see something, call a secret witness. Yeah. All right, Andrea Kohler, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Again, that march is happening in downtown Bakersfield <laughs> tomorrow afternoon.